Hi everyone and welcome to your Wednesday watch. A super simple sculpted set today. Um, I've already prepped these nails and you've seen I've just wiped them with a little bit of acetone. I always wipe with acetone before I do my sets because it dehydrates the nail plate, it cleans it, um, and it also, I spoke about how it, it can highlight if I haven't done my prep correctly. So anything's still shining, I need to go back in and do it. So that's what I've done. I've just wiped the nails with acetone. Um, and now I'm going to go and fit my forms. Now, not a lot of tailoring's going on with this forms um, fitting today because my client doesn't want much of an extension to her natural nail and she wants them quite rounded. Um, naturally, I try to um, push her into the direction of almond, trying to make them um, a bit narrower, but no, she wanted them rounded. So that's what we're doing. So if she's going to choose that basic line, this is what she's going to get. Um, but yeah, I do just tailor the middle finger slightly. Um, and you'll see in a moment her um, index finger. Um, she, what she does, she picks her nails quite a bit and she pulls it up the side. So when you're sculpting, you're trying to um, identify the corners of the nails and tailor the form to fit those parts. But So you'll see here with her finger... On that, if you're looking at the nail, the left-hand side of it, it, it the nail, natural nail is pulled right up high um, and the nail grows in that kind of direction. So because we're sculpting, we can correct that. Now, the form doesn't quite fit, so I need to cut a deeper um, curve into this where it hits the free edge, as you would if somebody had like a high hypernicium. But I'm just being quite conscious that on that left-hand side, it's got to be quite high to reach up into it. Because we're going to start sculpting from that point to make the nail appear like it's going straight. Because at the moment, it's on a proper wonk. Um, but through sculpting, we can correct that. If you're going to be tipping, to correct that, you'd need to be tipping at that highest point as well. You couldn't just stick it on that free edge part because you'd always, when it regrew, you'd have the left-hand side wider. So you'd need to really put a tip covering that or sculpt like pull down from the back um because that's naturally where the nail grows and you can see she's done the same here on the thumb um so not as basic a set as i originally thought so again i know that i need to cut a deep v into this form so that the sides of it the wings of this form can go right up into the sides so that i can sculpt the correct shape So all the forms are on, I'm happy, I'm dehydrating the nail plate, and then I'm using an acid primer. Um, I don't do this before I put the forms on because there is a chance that you are going to touch the natural nail. And you know that if you touch the natural nail, your oils from your fingers are going to seep into all that perfect prep that you've already done. And we know that prep accounts for 70% of these nails lasting. So we need to do everything that within our power to make them do so. So yeah, I'm dehydrating and priming after. Right, here we go. I am using Pink Opal from Glitter Bells. You can see I'm using the tip of the brush to make the back of the bead nice and flush. And then I start to stretch it down, 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 down. So it's kind of like a, a pull-in motion with my brush. Um, yeah, and then because it's just a rounded shape, I'm just doing that all with my brush, just shaping it around. I'll then go and do the back of the bead straight at the cuticle. I do use an armrest from GB Wrist Rest, so then it means that these, my fucking tongue got me there. It means that the hand is facing downwards. Gravity does the work for me. So I can place that bead and it's not going to flood anything. It's only going to fall down the form because I have the hand up on a rest. So it just falls down. It makes my job a lot easier. So yeah, I'm just tailoring it in, tailoring it in before I go in with the back bead. Now I'm going to put my apex in the back third. I use the cross method. So from the cuticle down into an apex, this shape will fall slightly from apex to tip. 
but this apex has not got to be huge. So I'm placing it, tip of the brush above and behind, tucking those bed sheets in with the tip of my brush, wiping down each side wall, leaving product where I need an apex and painting the front forward. So yeah, your apex hasn't got to be massive. These nails are well structured. You can see I'm pinching, I fit my forms correctly. Um, the apex is not massive. So again, tip of the brush above and behind, stretching it over the whole of the nail, ensuring that you get those stress points, which is the corners of the nail from the free edge. Um, a lot of the time, if a client's nail will just snap at the free edge, it's going to be our fault, usually, that we haven't put the right amount of product there. Or the other thing that we could have done is we haven't tailored our forms correctly. So at the end of the set, you look and you think, gosh, that looks a little bit too wide. We haven't tailored, we haven't pinched, we think it's too wide. So we get the file in and we have file in, we're filing, we're filing, we're filing. And we had put the right amount of product in, but because the what we were applying onto was too wide, We've filed everything away and we've then weakened the structure. So those stress points that I mentioned, they've now become weakened because we've filed away too much product. Make sure that your form is as narrow as your natural nail. Um, and that's that. So, yeah, I'm going to let you continue watching the rest of this. There is a little bit of filing as well. Um, so you can, oh, I've got, I've got my mega porno voice on today and it's the afternoon. Why? Why? Why has Kylie got a porno voice? Normally this bad boy only comes out to play when it's an early morning. Well, I'm currently on, well, I've just, I think I'm over it now, but a two day hangover. Yep. I wasn't ill or anything. Well, I was technically ill, but I went out on a mum's night out on Saturday night and it took me until today, Tuesday, um, to get over it. And it's left me with this little sexy voice. So yeah, that's what I've got. I've never experienced a two day hangover. I've heard of them and the legends that be, I've heard of these two day hangovers. Um, but yeah, I've experienced one and it wasn't, it wasn't good. Whew. But yeah, all good now. We'll do it again though, won't I? I'm definitely going to be doing it again. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been up to. Nothing much really. Um, yeah, not, nothing much. I am about to head to Essex in about a week and a half's time. So anybody who lives around Essex, get in touch because I am in your neck of the woods. I'm going to Burnham on Crouch and um, doing some teaching there, doing some acrylic design teaching. I think I'll go back and do a sculpting day as well. Um, I've got lots of days around the UK where I'm teaching. So please go on the website and have a look. But yeah, if you are in the Essex specifically Burnham on Crouch, um, I'll be there on the 22nd of May. So yeah, come and have a play with me, come out to play. Um, so yeah, each year I do a UK tour of where I come around because I do live in the middle of nowhere. Although I do do my, do do, do do those one-to-ones from my studio in Shropshire. Um, I do go around the UK, so come and see me, come out to play. Right, so I am just, I have left a little bit of filing in so you can see me do that because the rest of the nails weren't ready, but I thought, well, let's get that metal file out and get them crispy. Um, making sure, you know, you've got those straight lower arches. I'm going to be bringing it up on over, not slimming in too much. Um, I try and apply my product as if I don't own a file, so you can see it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, the metal file is a game changer because it has no flex. So therefore my shapes are much crisper. Um, so yeah, when I'm finished with this set, I'm going to, I am going to go now. <laughs> I've got to go. I'm going to let you watch the rest of it. It is very lovely. Very, very pretty. Um, I talked her into having a little bit of glitter. So I'm going to finish this set with a top coat from Glitter Bells and then You'll notice that I leave this ring finger with no top coat at all. I leave it completely raw. And then I wipe over it with just normal glue. I do prefer to use Kiara Sky dip base glue because that stuff is fucking brilliant. Um, it's like shit to a blanket. Nothing budges when you use it. I usually stick all my crystals with it. But like every fucking bottle of Kiara Sky dip base glue, my lid's stuck on. So I'm just using my other glue, which will work absolutely fine. But you'll see, I wipe the nail 
with glue and I'm going to sprinkle in fairy steps glitter leaving a raw finish that will air dry I will crisp it up again with a file a nice bit of cuticle oil done stick around for the image at the end because it's just beautiful anyway if you don't already subscribe peeps I would love it if you would or drop me a comment or a like and I'll see you all again next Wednesday love and hugs bye